Rachel. Thanks, Mike. Anthony, such a strong performance from your team, especially after being down earlier in the game. What did you learn about yourselves tonight? Uh, keep fighting. We know they're, they're a great team. They're here for a reason. You know, this team plays hard. They play scrappy. Um, they got a lot of guys who can make plays for them. And they came out very hot. We came out slow. Um, you know, KCP saved us. He hit them two big threes um, in, in the first quarter and got us going. And we kind of picked it up um, on both ends of the floor. So. Uh, we can't come out like that game too. Um, like I said, this is a great team. They're here for a reason. Um, you know, if we want to win this this series and become champions. We have to play better from the start. You mentioned those two KCP three-point shots. The whole team shot well from behind the arc tonight, 38 percent. How much does that have to be part of what you guys do going forward? Yeah, if they're going to give us shots like that. We got to be able to knock them down. Um, Ron and Rondo and AC is getting in the paint. And guys open from three. So, uh, you know, we, we work on our shots every game. Uh, we work on our shots pregame and practice, shoot around, and guys got to be able to make shots. And we did that tonight, which got us a, a, a good lead. Um, you know, we have to play, obviously play better with the lead. We can't, you know, let guys come in and, and, and get too comfortable. Um, we feel like we let Kendrick Nunn come in and get comfortable. You know, obviously he's a, he's a talented player, but, um, you know, if we want to win a championship, we have to be better. You know, championship mindset for the full 448 minutes. So, um, but guys made shots tonight and, and got us this win. Well, you were one of them. You finished with 34 points. You, by the way, had one of the most historic NBA Finals debuts we've seen in the NBA. You are tied for third place, Elgin Baylor. And I'm going to give you the other two names on this list. George Mikan and Shaquille O'Neal. That's pretty good company, AD. How did you feel out there tonight? Um, I felt good. Uh, first NBA Finals game. Obviously, the nerves is there, a little nervous. But when the ball's tipped up, you know, we just go out there and play basketball. And I try to do that tonight. You know, got some good looks early. You know, got to the free throw line a lot. We're able to, to calm down and see the ball go through the net, which opened up you know, the jump shot. Um, and also opens up, opened up the lane for me. So I just try to go out there and be comfortable with knowing that just the moment I waited for in my entire career. And now I'm here, so you know, maximize this opportunity because it doesn't come around too often. And, you know, my teammate did a good job of making sure I was in my comfortable spots to, to be successful. Well, you certainly are off to a good start. Thank you so much. Thanks, Appreciate Rachel. it. Back to you, Mike. All right, Rachel. He is part of just an incredible Laker playoff legacy. So many of the game's greatest players playing for this franchise.